Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a quick, quick talk, um, video of the number one interface trying to cover some of the basics. So if you hit Alt and look over here to the left, here's the chat box. Down here at the bottom is channels and emotes. You can change the current channel to something else just by clicking on it, I'm setting it to Alliance. Or you can also type backslash and then say we want to change it to Guild. Guild, hit space, and it will change it. Um, in Neverwinter, to send a private message, that's a tell. And you can actually just find who you want to message. You can right click on them and private message. And that will automatically change it to that. Say. Guild and backslash say is talking to your local area. Uh, say somebody PMs you, like Kitty just PM'd me. You just hit backslash or the backspace. Sometimes you have to hit hint reversed and it will automatically go to the last person who PM'd you. So you can PM them back. Hit enter again to bring you back to the chat box slash zone. Zone is the entire instance. Um, for emotes, we also have these here. So it's a whole list. If you want to pin it, you can pin it. If you want to do it, you just click on it and your character will do it. If you don't want to click on the box, you can just type backslash emote and I'll do sit. And ta-da, your character sits. Or backslash emote Juggle. And the juggling one is actually something that you get from an event. In addition to PMing people, you can also right click on them. It brings up this whole menu. You can invite them to a party, you can invite them to cube group, private message them, report them, or the best thing ever, inspect them. So we can look at Kitty, we can see what gear she's wearing, we can see what stone she has in her gear. We can see her total item level. We can't see all of her stats because she's not standing right next to us. But we can see everything else. We can see her appearance. So what your character wears for stats and your appearance tend to be two different things. So for appearance, she's got heals, martyr's dagger, the fabled, Lugrian dagger. And you can see that's not what she's actually gone on. That's just what she appears to be wearing. And she has a history. Priestess of Pancakes. That's pretty epic. Lady of Luck. All right, so that is that. Uh, if you need to find people, you click O. You can just type their name, click search, and it should show up. Like, say, unknown. Just search for a random person. Well, nobody named unknown is on. Here's where you can find your friends. As you can see, there's Miss Kitty. If you want to be invisible, so Miss Kitty can't find you, you just click invisible. And nobody can see you. You won't show up in player searches, party searches. You will show up as offline in friends lists. You can also not auto join parties. So if you don't want to be spam for parties, you can click that. Uh, let's see. You can join a guild, see the roster, you can see who's online, you can see that this guild has 138 out of 150, so that's accounts, and that's how many characters are in it. You can show who's not online right now. Uh, let's see, stronghold, you can see where they're at, news, let's see guild activity. Uh, let's see, if you want to look for a party. That would be Q. You can queue up for random dungeons just by clicking the box here and then join. It gives you the rewards. You get the Astrodynes, you get the experience, there's no requirements, and these are the random ones you would end up in, or you can pick a specific dungeon. Or an epic dungeon if you're eligible. So I think I have to uncheck that. To, yep, now I can check something else. So that's how that works. There's a calendar. Go look at upcoming things. 
you can right click to see more about it. You can set a reminder, adds it to the calendar, or pop up a little message when you log into the game. Uh, the game also has a built in stock market where you can make money. You can buy Zen, you can sell Zen. I've known people who've made millions doing this. I'm not good with math. I do not do this. Um, your character. Here is my character. Here's what she's actually appearing to wear. You can make a history. You can do your powers. Here's your boons. Here's the different stronghold boons when you log in. Here's your companions where you can summon another, where you can manage all of them. Here's your mounts. If you want to change to a different mount, you can just pick what mount you want to use and ta-da! Now when you hit six, you will join that mount. You want to choose a different mount, back up to mounts, choose mounts, uh, choose that one, click six, ta -da! To get off the mount, you just hit six again. So, oh, and before I forget, in the appearance tab, if you want to change the look of your gear, you can also change the dye colors. So, you can make it very, very red, or very purple, or very yellow. So that's how that works. And then you just save it to wear it. And if you don't want to wear gear, you can also wear fashion. And now character is wearing fashion. With a giant sword. Now that's quite the look. All right, so that's how that works. I hope some of this has been helpful. Uh, if you need more information up at the top here, you can find mail, you can find help, you can find your campaigns, you can find your guild up here, you can find your quest journal up here if you get lost. You can find your campaigns if you get lost. It'll tell you the whole progression. It even tells you what rewards you'll get in the different zones. All right. So that's the basics in a nutshell, really fast nutshell. Oh, almost forgot. Quick tips about that sparkly line. You can see it behind me. So one, it's made out of evil fairies. Don't trust it. It will leave you into moths and get you killed. Two, you can change it two ways. You can go to your quest journal and here where it says quest path, you can set where you want it to go. And you can see the on the map here. Or you can click M, which brings up the map. You can zoom out. And you can actually just set a marker anywhere, and it will route you to where you want to go. So say I want to go to Sergeant Knox, just click on Sergeant Knox. Say I want to go to the Grand Emporium, just click there. Say I want to go to an exit, and just click there. The PvP place, just click there. The event person, where all the events are held, I just click there. And then the clear, you just clear it. Also, this map up here, if you click here, it shows you what the next stronghold event is and what time it will be and what the rewards are. Here's uh, another stronghold thing. You can set a reminder if you need. And here's the next PvP event. What time that happens, you can set a reminder what the rewards are. Over here is your quest list. You set this in, you click J, your quest journal. You can change it. You can add different things. Just by clicking this box, it will add them down here. So, hope that helps. Thank you. See ya. So, one last thing I forgot. If you need to switch instances, say you're uh, chasing mobs or you need to find a friend who's in a different instance, it's right up here. There'll be a countdown when you first transfer into an instance and you'll have to wait. It's a minute and 30 seconds, I believe. As soon as it's done counting down, then it will turn blue, and you just click on it, and it will bring up this menu. You can click on the top of the bar, and that will rank them by order. Or you can click on players, and here's how you can transfer to an emptier instance. And if there's someone on in an instance that you know, they will show up here. But this instance has zero players, and I am going to transfer to it. And that works in any area.
And as you can see, once you transfer, you have to wait, I guess it's two minutes before you can transfer again. Also, if you're in your party, your party members will show up over here. And just right click on them and there will be the option to transfer to their map. That way you can transfer to the exact area they're at. Oh, I need to stand in the fire and get well rested. So yeah, that's that. Almost wrapped.